I want you to talk about uh, some of the efforts you were doing with COVID relief, uh, how they've been interrupted. And are you seeing any signs that the spike in cases that we sort of expected as these lockdowns were lifted have come or not come? Well, what we what we know watching at least tracking this this science is that there's actually been no slowdown of the virus transmission in in in, in terms of its natural course, uh, other than that which has been um, put back by the wearing of masks and distancing. Uh, it has been, I think, the big story, and what we have to remember is that the whole term flattening the curve. Uh, it really had to do with surge capacity at hospitals and that we didn't want to overwhelm the health system. That is, is not the same as, as uh, uh, the, the transmissibility of the disease being evaded. So we are, we are on a continued path, uh, probably for most Americans, uh, to, to get COVID-19 if we don't make some quick changes. As far as the test sites, we took a brief pause uh, yesterday and today on several of the sites but uh, we, we uh, uh, in Los Angeles, we continued the Dodger Stadium, tested about 3,800 people yesterday. Uh, the volunteers are, are chomping at the bit to get back on site. I think we'll do that in all sites uh, tomorrow. Uh, that's not just in Los Angeles, but across California and throughout our sites in the United States at large. Prior to the... Uh, Sean, I hope I hope you'll stay with us for just a moment here because the president uh, is making an appearance at the uh, shrine of Pope John Paul II, of course, uh, after his uh, detour outside of the White House following that Rose Garden appearance after, last uh, night. Gassing and breaking up the, the, the protesters that were peaceful, yes. Yeah, uh, tear gas in Lafayette Square. It, it's been well documented by now, Sean. I mean, uh, to what degree are you looking to national leaders not just the president, uh, for solutions, not just to the pandemic, but now the racial unrest that we're witnessing in this country. Yeah, well, you know, there's, a, there's an incredible interview with Cornell West last night on Brian Williams on MSNBC, and I would, I would direct everyone to it. This is one of the great poetic heart, souls, and academics uh, the world's ever known. He was crying out for leadership. I look to leadership where I see it. I see it in young people. I see it in the volunteers on our test sites. I see it in the peaceful protesters. Uh, but I, but we need but the, but that, those, those strong, clear voices and the focus on the real protest and the true protesters and not on those fringe groups that are, that are you know, t t doing these ridiculous things and criminal things is what I think the media has a great responsibility to. Um, but I don't know that we're going to get to the... I'm waiting for these young leaders to uh, start to tell us, you know, older people, who are we going to boycott? Are we going to boycott Monsanto? Are we going to boycott Facebook? Uh, companies that invest only in themselves. Your, your previous guest talked about what a great company Disney is. Well, uh, last I checked, Disney paid a minuscule settlement after uh, an alligator ate a baby at the theme park. Uh, this is this has got to be a brand new sense of corporate responsibility. It's time that the country make a radical shift, have the courage to make a radical shift. We see extraordinary people like Jack Dorsey with Twitter, where you know managing a board and all the difficult things in any kind of major corporation gives up the thir a third of his own equity to start moving into a direction that changes uh, the way that we think about things. And I think you know that they, that, that companies have to make an equity investment. We see the business as usual uh, is all that's being boasted. In other words, let's use our company as it is to profit our company to save the world. I'm, I'm skeptical. I'm cynical about that. Uh, you know, look where it's gotten us. So I, I think that uh, this is an extraordinary moment uh, to, to see, you know, who's, who's at play to make this uh, world more equitable, to give what politics should be defined as which is an offering and a support of quality of life, no matter what color or creed or religion you are.